feel in the emotion. So while I was going to these auditions, I did a lot of wild kind of $10 an hour jobs. I stuffed envelopes, I dressed up in a tuxedo outfit and delivered menus in Century City, and I was a relief hostess in a, in a, in a restaurant. I even played a comedic dominatrix in a comedy magic show. On show. <laughs> and at the end of the show, I pulled the drummer off the stage reciting to everybody that I was available for weddings, bar mitzvahs, and anything else. Well, it was a couple of years of a lot of fun, and then I decided to get serious. So I attended a class called Breaking Into Sitcom Acting. The class was given a few days before Christmas, and only two other people attended. The instructor at the end of the class did a Zen kind of thing, and he told people where he saw them going in the industry. Lucky for the other two, but not for me. He kept looking at me and he said, I can't get a fix on you. <laughs> he said, you're huge. He said, I don't meet your size. So he said, I said, come on, you know, tell me. I, I paid my money too, I want to know. He said, write, my dear, write. You'll be bored with auditions, you'll be bored with commercials and acting, write. So actually, I've been writing poetry all my life, so it made sense. So I continue to write, and I perform when I can, and maybe someday, who knows, my name will be in the book. Wow. <laughs> the fact that it's Kevin Walsh is approaching the stage.